Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niemer here, and welcome to a very special episode of Citizen Sleeper. We are going to enter a new episode, which might have new challenges for us, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, we are on cycle 105, we have plenty of money, resources, well, anything and everything we could really ask for, so yeah, we are basically ready to rock and roll. So, let's do this, let's feed the kitty cat, and then we're gonna see what the future holds for us. Uh, I hope that is gonna be challenge uh, i hope that the game will not let me just use my resources to push through but uh but we'll see oh the wire is ready um do we do like one last harvest before i do the thing you know what i'll do it okay we'll do one quick last harvest before i go on <laughs> like hey i have plenty of resources i don't know if it's gonna be hard or not let's make it even easier yeah it sounds like a good idea to me doesn't it well, I do like farming here, so... Uh, but yeah, if you are new to this series, it's like a tactical strategy game where you control a sleeper, which is like a runaway drone from a corporation with a human mind inside it. Uh, and uh, yeah, we need to repair our body, we need to take stabilizers to stabilize ourselves because, well, we are on a clock because we are, a, well, sort of a robot, I guess, kind of like that. The start of the game was harsh, but then we stabilized, and now we're doing much better. You can watch the full playlist, uh, you can find it in the comment and description below the video. So one more nap, and then the real thing starts. So, feed the kitty cat here. It costs us money, doesn't give us anything. It's just uh, the way things are in life sometimes, I guess. <laughs> but anything to make it a little bit more difficult, right? I guess. Right, so I don't know what to accept, expect from the second episode, except the game warns you that it's a late game content, so uh, it should be a little bit harder, right? Well, that's what we're hoping for anyway. I'll drop off this thing off and put some scrap in there to repair our body. I mean, from one side, it's probably gonna be a mix of things, like some things that we have will probably make it a little bit easier, and then some things will have no way around but to use the resources that we over uh, the dice this uses. I hope it's gonna be dice heavy, because if it's dice heavy, then uh, that would make perfect sense, yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Let's find out, let's find out. So the second episode, oh boy, it's been, I did all the quests here. I leveled up a lot. We have five upgrade points, so we can, I'll upgrade one of these, depending on what I feel like it's gonna be the most useful. Welcome to Episode Flux. Episode Flux is the first three of the uh, uh, first of three episodic updates to Citizen Sleeper, telling the story of the refugee flotilla which has arrived at the eye. All three episodes, Flux, Refuge, and Purge, are now available. Completing the Deliver Spores action will begin the episode, but be aware that it's intended for late game play. Well, I'm ready, hopefully. <laughs> Supply Jirals. Ash asks you to bring supplies and fragrant. Uh, I grown Jiral caps seem like the perfect thing to impress her. Well, let's see if that's, that's what happens here. Hey! You came. Big smiles as you walk into the climbing briar's ca cargo hold behind the gloomy ash. They brought mushrooms. Ash tosses the mushroom caps onto the crate, raising her eyebrows at Pig. Pig gives her a look. Thank you, sleeper. They pick one up and sniff at it. Are these edible? Yes, they're perfectly edible. I eat them a lot, actually. Pig turns the cap over in their fingers before putting it down. We are not supposed. We are not so used to fresh produce. Ash is securing crates as she speaks and doesn't look up. Hawthorne doesn't have much in the way of farming. Hawthorne? The installation we grew up on. Ash wipes off her hands on a rack. XPR loves to name the property after natural things, but that's about as far as the relationship with plant life goes. XPR? This an interrogation? She glares. Either way, we are do we're done with that place, which is all you need to know. Ash leans back against the crate she was securing. We are going to need more than a few mushrooms if you want to help those refugees, though. Uh, what do they need? Food, water, components, a whole lot of things. Ash stands and walks over to the mushrooms you brought, placing them into a small container with care. The problem isn't just getting supplies, it's getting them through to the ships. Can't you speak to Heaven Edge? Uh, we aren't exactly welcome guests, Peek explains. If anyone figures out that we came in with the refugee ships, we'll be quarantined as well. Uh, why is there a ref quarantine? 
big jump scene. The eye has a closed loop like support system, just like any orbital installation. Any unfamiliar illness or significantly increased strain on life support could cause a cascading collapse in its systems. Ash scoffs. Are we making excuses for these bureaucrats now? Peak turns. You're being realistic, Ash. But these people aren't an increased strain, they're living people, Ash stares at you. Even calling them refugees is just a way of turning a lot of scared, desperate people into a single monolithic group. Ash slides the container full of mushrooms into one of the cargo holds racks. Look, as much as, like to, as I'd like to chat, we are still got a lot of space to fill in this hold, so if you're going to help... I think Ash is trying to say we need your help and quickly. Well, that's what I'm here for, Pig says, glancing at her. The refugees behind the cordon, they won't be able to hold out indefinitely. We need to get supplies to them in next, well, 12 cycles or so. Okay, we got uh, ore, so we got a clock, that's really good, so that bodes well. That means challenge, that means we have limited time to do everything we need, good. Ash steps forward, or Heaven Edge will have to bear the responsibility for whatever happens next. Uh, what can I do? There's three things we still need to secure. Water, food and scrap components for ship repairs. As gestures to the storage containers around the hold. Water we can find a way to source, or my preference just siphon off from the underground reservoirs in the greenway. Ooh. <laughs> Stealing, cool. <laughs> Peak rises their eyebrows. Ash. She ignores them. For food, things could be tricky. She ignores them. Oh yeah, this this game is like gender neutral. I don't know if that was necessary, but it's it's okay. Those mushrooms are delicious, I'm sure, but no way we can get enough volume to feed a flotilla. However, I saw an algae stack on the way over. If we can get access... Not more stealing, Ash, big size. I didn't steal. I didn't say steal, she stares at them indignantly. If we can get access, we can work the stack, harvest some algae for the flotilla. Those stacks churn out vast quantities in short time scales. Okay. And the repair components, Peak asks tentatively she smiles just look around your peak this whole place is made of scrap well sure is i have 32 with me so that's not gonna be a problem i think she sh shoots you a glance and i'm sure the sleeper has their sources they can bring them right here well i do actually we get everything before time drowns out perfect we get most of it also good either way in 12 cycles i'm going to take what we have and go uh how will we get through ash shoulders the container uh, i thought i'd leave that up to you peak they flinch. Are you serious, Ash? I know we said we would help the flotilla, but at what point? <sighs> they stop, take a breath. Take this seriously, Ash. I know the first thing about breaching a quarantine cordon. Maybe not, Ash looks at you, but they might. They slipped out from an SNR facility, didn't they? Well, I sure did. Plus, they've been here longer than us. Well, I sure did. You're always trying to get me to find help. Well, here it is, she gestures at you. Help. Well, glad to be of service, Ash. <laughs> <coughs> Oops. Peak glances between the two of you. I swear to... <sighs> I need to... Think this one through. Meet me at the cordon in a couple of cycles, sleeper. Maybe we can figure something out. Meanwhile, Ash meets your eye. You can help me acquire the supplies. Discreetly. She smiles. You have to keep this quiet. Keep Heavenage out of the loop. Once they get suspicious, this is all over for all of us. This is also suddenly seems a little too real, too dangerous. You only just found your feet on the eye. Uh, nope, I'm getting along quite well on the eye. Thank you very much, game. I'm doing great. This is not a time for causing trouble. No, this is exactly time for causing trouble. Come find us. We'll be out there trying to pull this all together. Ash goes to the back of the hole to start packing another container. Pig, come help me. Pig glances back at her. Sleeper, look, we didn't choose this either. They lower their voice. Help us finish this. We set up a base camp on the broken spoke. You're welcome to rest there in any of the cots while we work on this. They smile. We're in this together. Peak, S shouts, and they walk back into the hold to help with the container. As you leave the climbing briar, look out at the broken edge of the ice rink, where heaven and cordon blinks with tiny red lights. What are you getting yourself into? Well, adventures. Okay, so here we have the main mission, scrap for the flotilla item, one of the three things the flotilla needs are components for repairs. There's a lot of ships, which means a lot of scrap components, eight, oof, that's a lot, but we have plenty. Pig's plan, all the supplies in the world are nothing without a plan to get them to the flotilla, that's a pig's part in this, okay? Bryce Hold, the flotilla needs food, water and components, you might not be able to get all of them, but Ash will take what you can get. Ash's run, the clock is running, in 12 cycles Ash will make her run to the flotilla, the better prepared she is, the better the result will be. Okay, cool. I want the best result. Okay, here. Have my components. Yay. 
Well, I guess it's gonna be easier than I was expecting. You look over the pile of scrap components lying in the briar. You look around, the bay is empty. Ash and Peak either elsewhere on the station or on the bridge of a couple of levels up. You begin sorting through the pile, separating out useful components and boxing them by use. You don't recognize everything you find, but before long you get into the rhythm of sorting. And you do, as you do, your mind starts to drift, your attention being drawn into the dark corners of the bay. The briar is uh, surprisingly good condition, considering that hot, Hawthorne and XPR must have been operating it, operating it for decades by now. The marks of care are everywhere, from the delicate patch jobs polished to melt into the original finish or the carefully bound wiring running through custom tr trunking. Ash loves this ship, that much is clear. Something catches your eye in one of the dark corners, a matte black stack of crates you hadn't spotted before. They're sleek and compact, tucked away behind some of the bigger, more worn out containers. Ooh, investigate. You put the components away and go over to the slick crates. You run your hands across their textured surface. But there is little hint of what lies inside of the opaque metallic casing. Alright, there seems to be something nefarious going on. Cool, I like it. <laughs> then you see it, a yellow symbol embossed onto the far side of the crate. An universal sigil used by spacer, corporations and manufacturers alike. It's one you have seen throughout your time as a sleeper. It's meaning all too familiar, explosive contents. Yikes. You hear a hiss and Ash comes up through the base lock. She barely registers your presence, nodding at you as she passes. Sleeper. She bu busies herself with some task at the back of the bay. Uh, ask about the crates. Ash doesn't just... doesn't turn around from whatever she is busy with. Just more supply sleeper, like everything else here. You can't think of anything else to ask, but sense that the atmosphere has now somehow shifted. You quickly finish up the sorting and slip out, waving goodbye to her back as you do. Oh snap, they're up to no good. Uh, scrap for the flotilla, action unavailable. Okay, Briar's Hold, the flotilla needs food, water and components. You might not be able to get all of them, but Ash will take what you can, what you can get. Okay, so we did one out of three and we have also the peaks plan to do. Okay, there's a lot of work to be done it seems like. How do we do the rest? Briar's base camp, spacer staging ground. Oh, okay, so we can sleep here if we want to. I mean, that's probably fine to sleep here, yeah? And then let's see what else. Uh, the cordon. So this is where the quarantine is, these blinking red lights. Meeting Peak. Peak asks you to meet them at the cordon. You hope they have a plan to cross because this place seems imposing. Okay, but we can start that in two cycles. Okay, should we... Okay, I guess we care. take care of these in these two cycles then? Like, I don't know. Wait... There's more stuff than usual. Okay, this is the scrap place. This Hifa commune, Hifa dorm, Hifa labs. This is new. Algae stack. Haifa algae farm. Negotiate access. The algae stack is controlled by a small collective of farmers. If you want to use it, you'll need to persuade them. Oh yeah, this is for food. Algae access, much to ash frustration. You'll have to pay or talk your way into using the algae stack to farm food for the refugees. Okay, if you fail this one, we lose energy, which is not too bad. So engage might not be super necessary. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Uh, the Avira, that's my farm. This is where we get seeds for the farms. Farm stacks. Yeah, this is old one. Yeah, okay. And this is new. Oh, it's also, also it's blinking yellow because we didn't check it out yet. Nice. Reservoir S3, water storage and processing. Okay. Uh, siphon water. The only way for Ash to get enough water together is to siphon it directly from the station's reservoirs. Heaven Ash will not be pleased. Water for the flotilla. Ash needs tanks and tanks of water if she hopes to help the flotilla. Anything less is worthless to her. Heaven Ash alert. Heaven Ash have installed a complex sensor array to monitor the reservoir. Trip this and the whole place will go into lockdown. Hack sensors. The reservoir is monitored by a web of sensors. Hacking them will reduce the alert level of the system and keep you from getting locked out. Okay, I see. So... If you fail this one, it's gonna increase the... Okay, should we take Engineer then? So we get good good successes here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, eight. Okay, how much for this one though? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I mean, we could do this one and see what the, if there's gonna be a next step because this is just access. She also mentioned something about having to actually grow food, so... Okay, let's do this one.
Okay, so we got the algae axis. Okay, Haifa farm. Harvest algae. Ah, there we go. There's no more algae in the stack for this cycle. We have to wait for more to grow. Food for the flotilla. The flotilla needs a lot of food to last out the quarantine, and Ash will settle for nothing less than a full hole's worth. Algae growth. The algae takes time to grow, and each cycle more can be harvested from the stack. Patience is required. Ah, okay. So it takes three cycles to grow. That's interesting. We can accelerate growth using Intuit. The algae in the stack grows at a regular rate, but with, but with some careful feed adjustment and water cycling, you can improve your field yield per cycle. Oh, okay, so you can add this here. Ah, okay. Okay, let's see how much it grows, and then I'll decide if I need to boost it or not. Uh, plus two food, two, four, six, eight. It might grow enough on its own, actually. So we have two trees here. What to do with those? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, can I do that? That's my farm. Like, the only thing I can do is work on the reservoir, but it's risky. It's dangerous, actually. Yeah. So trees might not be the best, but if you roll them, they might be even worse than before. Okay, I'll grab, I'll grab a upgrade in engineering then. And let's see. Positive and neutral. Water for flotilla plus minus condition. Yeah. I mean, I should be fine though. Oh, we're getting alert. Okay, we got a neutral outcome. Oh, that's because it was a neutral outcome. Okay. There we go. Positive outcome. Great. Okay. Uh, let's go to sleep and then we're gonna do those some more. I like sleeping here because here we can also feed the kitty cats. Yay. <laughs> I love the kitty cats. <laughs> Okay, so far it doesn't seem too bad. We'll see how hard the other mission is. And we'll probably have a lot to work in these 12 cycles, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, these dies are not encouraging at all. Oh, we can... Oh, algae growth. The algae takes time to grow and each cycle more can be harvested from the stack. Patience is required. Oh, I see. So we can harvest up to three... Oh, we can harvest once per cycle and get two food. Okay, that's not the problem. So speed up you only need to do if you mess up and don't do this right away. I see. Now you can freely harvest edible algae to ship to the refugee flotilla. Even ash admit it has a pleasant, earthy taste. Okay, these dyes are just sucky, so I'm gonna reroll all of them. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna use the four for guaranteed success here. And there. And we got the six. Well, this one takes force, so we could put a six in here. Wait, let me see something. Okay, this one, if you fail, we lose energy, which is not too bad, actually. Yeah, this one I kind of don't want to fail, though, this one here. Okay, let's grab some algae. There. And there's no more right now. But I can try growing some more. Okay, I can risk some energy. I think that's okay. Okay, and now I assume if you go out and in, you'll be able to harvest some more. Okay. Okay, I need some more energy. Okay, let's go grab some food then. Um, I'm gonna go and visit our friend. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's waiting for me. I feel like I'm already a little bit behind and we might not be able to do everything. So I'm gonna feed myself using credits and I have plenty of cash. So I'm not gonna do any hacking right now. Let's go and try to grow some more algae here. Bit of two, I guess, even though that's like a little bit scary, but 
We get a plus two here, so it might not be too bad. Positive outcome, allergy growth. Okay, and then we are stuck with this one, which... <laughs> so if you fail this one, it actually gets worse. So let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, nothing here yet. Maybe we get some good actions there. Okay, let's not use the one then, I guess. We can probably, like, surely it's not so tight so you have to use all the dice every time, each time, right? And also the game should account for at least some fails, hopefully. Besides, we got a free, free uh, mission anyway by using scrap, so that's that. Uh, Okay, fit the strays. Good. Let's go to the next cycle. Okay. A little bit worried about those explosives we found though. Like, what's up with that? Are they terrorists? Terrorist men. As you leave, you find a note pinned on the outside of the door. It reads, Sleeper, there's something you need to see. Meet me at the cordon as soon as you can. You just keep heading around the ring until you hit the flotilla. I'll be waiting. Peek. Ah, okay. You pocket a note and glance around the court. It looks like you're doing this. Time to make a plan. Okay, let's go and talk to Pete. Let's see what Pete has as a mission for us. Okay, we definitely need to harvest this because it's growing. But it's growing nicely, so that's pretty good. So, seems like we're gonna easily do her missions at least. But Pix, let's see what Pix needs from us. <laughs> Sleeper, Pig catches your attention from the shadowy corner they were leaning against. Any trouble getting here? None. Good to hear. Come, take a look at this. They beckon you over to a nearby window which looks across the road ring to the blinking red lights of the heavenish corridor. That's the corridor, I guess. This red lights. Is this the quarantine ship? It might be. The cordon's temporary structures, a net of metal struts meant to detect and dissuade any ships from entering or leaving the flotilla, jut out into the black. And all around, the tugs flit, securing them in place and tending to the red blinking drones that mark uh, the quarantine. It's an impressive and worrying sight. What do you think? Peek interrupts your thoughts. How would you get through? Use one of the tugs, create a distraction, just go for it hard and fast. Um, well, you have explosives, so create the destruction. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, but what kind of destruction is big enough to get everyone to look away from a ship as big as the Briar? Peek squints at the red lights. Surely they'd spot and seize the ship. Peek turns away from the window and rubs their forehead. Ash, were really, Ash has really wrapped up uh, some, in something here, hasn't she? The question is spoken under their breath, and they don't seem to expect an answer. The silence grows. Uh, maybe we try all three. Hey. <laughs> Peek laughs. <laughs> I like it. At least we should prepare as many ways we can. The way I see it, there are three parts to making it through that cordon. They gesture out to the window of the strange structure. Deception, distraction and speed. We'll need all of them for a clean passage through. Deception means tricking the cordon security into thinking that we're meant to be there. Maybe a tag escort would work. Anything that makes the briar look official. Distraction, meanwhile, will be all about diverting attention so that no one looks too hard at what the briar is doing. If we can create a gap in the cordon scanning and uh, the turn systems, that should keep them busy. Finally, speed will mean making sure the briar is ready to roll. Perhaps we can do a little work on the ship to get her ready. I surely wouldn't mind. They lean back from the video. How does that sound? Excellent. Pick grins. Don't get too excited. There's a lot to get sorted before we make the run. Sure. Peek looks down at their slate. Ten cycles left. They glance out of the window at the cordon nervously. Ten cycles to gather the supplies and to prep this plan. It's tight. No, it's not tight, but okay. <laughs> Peek looks at you. If this goes wrong, Peek sighs. Just get out, okay? They squeeze your shoulder. I'll follow Ash anywhere, but you, you don't need to get dragged down with us. It won't come to that, mate. Peek brightens up a little. Of course, but just keep it in mind. Let's Get to it, Pig stretches. I'll let Ash about. I'll tell Ash about the improvements of the Briar and the rest. Let's explore the cordon as best we can and look for openings. I have no idea what Guardian Angel sent you to us, Sleeper. Pig smiles, but I'm very glad I did. Okay. So we got a new mission here: the Cordon, Heavenish Quarantine. Okay. Intercept comms. The cordon buzzes with radio transmissions and data packets. Intercepting them will give you a sense of how things run here. Blend in with the crew. 
Uh, one thing about being a sleeper is people always assume you're working, so planning in with the tag crews shouldn't be too tough. Cordon Intel, you and Peak need to get a sense of how the Heaven Edge operation works before you can prepare your plan to sleep, to sleep through it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we got an, a risky uh, operation here, which will use our, our energy if we fail. But seems like a good thing for the um, for the low dice, yeah. Yeah, definitely seems like a good thing for the low dice. I do have a five and a six, which we can go and use for the tricky stuff. So let's see. Okay, we got some food here. Okay, we can grab this with a five. There we go. Yeah, this one shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I think I even overgrown stuff by using the dice here, but I had nothing else to use them on, so... Okay. Oh, if you fail this one... Oh, we can also safely fail this one, we're gonna have plenty of times to, like, gather all that. Okay. Good, I guess. And then, let's see the other one. Uh, this one is a plus two, so using a six here feels bad, man. But... I guess it's okay. Okay, then we're gonna reroll stuff. Okay, we got some good dice. We got some couple of fours, which is really nice. Okay. Actually, fours fit perfectly in here. So we're gonna use them here. I mean, I just used a six in it, so... Perfect fours are good. Because we have plus two, so fours become sixes, which is amazing. And then we got a six. Okay, let's start uh, working on the new things then. Yeah, feeling pretty good about all of this. So we're gonna take this one because it gives plus two. Yeah. Okay, this might be easier than I was thinking it will be. Which is alright, I guess. Let's feed the kitty cat. There you go. And the cycle. Let's do one more day and I'm gonna continue the next episode. Okay, feed the kitty cat. I'm also gonna stabilize myself now. The one stabilizer is like three scrap components. I think that's good usage. There. And let's see. Oh, there's a ship here. Oh, we can buy ship mine fragments. We'll do that. Not sure if we're gonna need them, but these ships come so rarely. Plus, we negotiated a really good price for them. And this one here, we bought up all the scrap. Okay, let's go to the, the bar, to the emphasis food stall, buy some food. This thing is amazing. And then we're gonna go and... Okay, I'm gonna use the fives on the new missions. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy, game! You, you aren't hard enough for us. <laughs> Oh, three new missions, and never mind that. Okay, have an edge hanger, cordon dock. Slice thrusters. The tugs have a powerful suit of thrusters for rapid maneuvering. If you can sneak in and slice some off, you'll have a significant upgrade for the briar. Oh, very dangerous action, but it's an engineer one, so that's good. Briar upgrade. The kind of thrusters the tugs use will give the briar improved maneuvering, useful in the cramped quarters of the flotilla. Heaven edge suspicion. All across the cordon, heaven edge security are keeping close eye on the things. Gain their attention and you'll struggle to maintain access. Okay. So, yeah, if we fill this up, it's gonna be a problem, I guess. Cordon... Wait, what was that? Cordon Operations, Quarantine Administration. Sabotage sensors. Some careful sabotage to the cordon systems should create a sensor gap that will allow the briar to bypass the automatic quarantine systems. Blind spot. Creating a blind spot in the cordon's perimeter will give the briar a better chance of evading detection when Ash makes her run. Heaven is suspicion. All across the cordon, Heaven and security are keeping a close eye on things. Gain their attention and you'll struggle. Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, I guess this whole cordon is covered by one negative thing. Yeah, it's not even linked to this. So, okay, so whatever we do here, we better succeed, <laughs> okay. And then, uh, okay, crew canteen, tuck crew canteen. Convince a crew. 
With division rife among the attack crews, gaining support for a supply shipment you will just be a case of picking the right crew and approaching them discreetly. Tag escort. A crew willing to escort the briar through the quarantine will give the ship a better chance of passing the cordon without any trouble. Okay. Heaven and suspicion. Same thing again. Deflect suspicion. Taking hardline attitudes, slowly arguing in favor for the quarantine. Making friends with security. There are ways to deflect suspicion. Okay. So if you fill this up, this is where we can empty it. Okay. Let's reroll this dice. Okay, we got two fours and a one. Okay, we got an engineer task there where fours can go, so that's pretty good. We're gonna need fives here and we're gonna need uh, fours here. Okay. Also, some of these might be okay for trees. We'll try it out a little bit. Okay, but let's do this then, definitely. Fours become perfect sixes for engineering tasks. I prepared well. And then we have this one. <laughs> Not sure if I wanna do with that. Uh, we could maybe try and go... Oh, my food is ready. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing my harvesting mushroom action until I'm feeling pretty safe. Besides, we have loads of them, so there's really no reason to do it anyway. So, I guess we can try harvesting algae here. 50% neutral, 50% negative. We'll lose some growth, but that's okay. Because it's gonna come back tomorrow. We also lost some energy, okay. Well, I tried. All right. Um, let's eat. And I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, so far I think this is going amazing. I think we are way too powerful for this mission. But, well, who knows what else the game will throw our way, right? So, yeah, let's not get too comfy yet. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next episode, we'll continue helping the flotilla out. And let's see what we can do. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Do some nice things. Uh, be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of Citizen Sleeper. The Niamh signing out. Bye-bye.